that's all I had for you today. If you enjoyed that video, I welcome you to subscribe to the channel. It's quite simple. Just hit the little button right here and it takes less than one second. Go ahead and try. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it in any way, I welcome you to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button somewhere down below. You know what? I'm going to show you the button. I think it's somewhere right here. Up. Oh. Whoa! I didn't realize how much comments we had below the video. So, I was saying subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button right here. Oh. And I'll catch you in the next video as soon as I figure out how to head back to the studio. What is up everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is a very special one because on this exact same date, one year ago, I posted my very first video on this channel. Yep, the channel is one year old today and it's been an amazing one year old. The channel has grown beyond my expectation. We're up about 60,000 subscribers and 2 million views on the channel. I mean, who could have imagined? So I just want to say thank you to all of you for liking, for subscribing, for sharing, and for all the support. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. I'm really grateful. And to celebrate that, in today's tutorial, we're going to be doing a very fun tutorial, and which is, happens to be actually one of the most requested tutorials that I've gotten since I started this channel, which is how to do the cool subscribe to my channel like you saw in the intro of this video. I've done this in my welcome video and in, I've used this same technique in a couple of my videos uh, since I've been releasing them and a number of you have been asking me how to do this. So in this tutorial, we're going to tackle all of that. And what is a celebration without some giveaways? Yeah, so I'm going to be having some giveaways at the end of the video. I have some Create Studio licenses. I have licenses to Demo Creator, which is the screen recording software that I use for my own tutorials. They're really amazing. So if you want to start your YouTube channel, this is a good software for you to use. And I'm also going to be giving away some cartoon illustration to a few people. So you send your photo and I send you back an illustrated cartoon. So if you're interested in any of these giveaways, wait to the end of the video and I'm going to be telling you how to win those. So now let's get started with the fun tutorial right now. I'm going to be showing you two ways to edit this. First, we're going to edit it using Adobe Premiere Pro on the computer and I'll show you how you can use just your mobile device to edit this. In fact, this actually happens to be one of the easiest way to do this. And I'll put time codes to all of this in the description so you can skip along to the segment that concerns you. All right, so let's start off with the equipment you're going to need to pull off this effect. The very first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a camera. And this can be a professional camera or just your cell phone. You don't really need a fancy camera for this, just something you can use to shoot video. The second thing you're going to need is some kind of a tripod. And there are lots of cheap tripods out there. In fact, the tripod I'm using right now is a tripod I got off of Amazon. It's made by Amazon. And I think it costed me about $25 some two years ago. I bought it originally for my phone, but when I got my camera, I just kept using it and it's held up pretty well over two years now and it's still holding up. It's not very sturdy, but it works. I've had it for two years and it works pretty well. I'll put a link to that in the description in case you're interested in that. Uh, you can get that and there are lots of other cheap tripods out there so you can easily grab one. And in case you can't find a tripod, you can always have somebody balance the camera for you on their head. <laughs> but all jokes aside though, if you don't have a tripod, just find any plain surface that you can put the camera steady. The goal is to have it steady and not moving. So the third thing we're going to be needing is some kind of green screen material like the one I have right here. And this could be anything that's like a plain color. So like your mama's bed sheet, your wife's blanket, whatever it is, piece of paper, whatever they can get that's a plain color. But it's advisable to use a blue a surface like what I have here or a green surface because that will conflict with your skin tone or probably what you're wearing. So you see most people using either blue like this or a green uh, surface for it. So the, what I have here is called a foam board and it's uh, you can get it in any stationary shop. I think it's like an art and craft thing, but I just, you know, improvise with it. And I got this one off of Walmart, if you live in the US, for like $2, so super cheap. And it comes also in green. Uh, they also have it on Amazon uh, in a bundle, so it's slightly expensive, but I'll put a link to that in the description in case you want to get that. You could also use materials like this, green screen materials that you can get off of Amazon. I think I bought this one for $35 or so. I'll put a link to it in the description. I really like this because it doesn't wrinkle easily. Uh, if I just stretch it, as you can see, it's kind of wrinkle free and it comes with the blue and also the green. And you can use this because it's like slightly large. You can use this for other kinds of uh, green screen uh, application. So that's also a nice one to have. So once you have your green surface, so I'm using this board right here for now because of the smooth edges. 
uh, so because the YouTube uh, bar would also be very straight. So I like this because of the straight edges. So it's why I'm using this board. So you can ignore the sides because we are gonna be masking those out and cropping them out. So just put that in the corner because the subscribe button is somewhere in the corner. So if you're centered in the frame, just make sure uh, this is somewhere around the corner and just do your thing. Hey, you know, thank you for watching the video, blah, 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 blah. If you wanna see more, subscribe by hitting the button right here. Use your imagination, do whatever you want to do. You know, you can put your hands, do everything that you want to do. And then that's pretty much all you have to do after you've recorded that. So and if you're going to be editing on a mobile device, I'll advise you to get uh, to use a green cloth like this to uncover the entire end to end of your frame. Just because on most of these softwares like iMovies, it's not that easy to crop out uh, the edges like we would do with the blue one. So this will make your work much easier. Like you see right here, I just took my green screen cloth and I've put it right all over uh, on a board, on a straight surface. That way I can just key out everything at the bottom. All right, once you're done filming, it's time to head over to your editing software and get the magic started. All right, the very first thing we wanna do is take a screenshot of our YouTube channel. If you have access to another YouTube account, maybe your friends or your families, uh, you're gonna need it here because you cannot see the subscribe button on the channel's YouTube account. So you need another account for that. So once you have that, we're gonna then make sure that initially you're unsubscribed and then take a screenshot. There are many ways to do this, but I personally like to use a tool called Go Full Page uh, Chrome Extension because this captures the entire page that I'm on and this is very helpful when doing things like this. So once you have this installed from the Chrome store, uh, you're gonna see a little camera icon. So just click on that and that's gonna capture an entire full screen screenshot of the particular page that you're on. So once you have that, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and subscribe to the channel and then take another screenshot of the page which you already subscribed. So once we have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and download each of these images using the little download icon right here to the corner. And once I'm done, I've done this, then I'm gonna rename them to something that makes it easy for me to recognize them to make everybody's life easier. All right, now that we have this done, we can move to our video editing software and start editing this. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro, but you can do this with any video editing software as long as it supports chroma keying or as many may know it as uh, taking out a green screen background. All right, so I have a new project open here on Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna double click right here on my project panel uh, to import the video which I shot earlier. I'm also gonna go ahead and also import the two images, the screenshots which we took uh, that I downloaded. I'm gonna import them into the project. So once I have this imported, I will drag the video that I shot and just drop it right here to the right to create a new sequence. So once I've done this, I'm gonna head over to the bottom left here and click on the effect panel and search for an effect called Ultra Key. I'll drag this and drop this on my clip. And right here on my effect control, uh, there's a little color eyedropper. I'll select on the blue. And once I click on this, this should completely key out all of the blue that is on my clip. So I'm gonna just click and drag this lower clip to the top and then I'll drag uh, my initial YouTube subscribe image and just put it right here on the bottom layer. I will just extend that a little bit to fill the entire frame. So I'm gonna hide our top layer by just clicking on the eye icon right there. And then I will click on the bottom layer and use the position tool to sort of move it around and scale it until it looks a little bit reasonable. And I think this looks about good to me. So I'll go ahead and turn back on the top layer and then I'm gonna make its opacity to about 70% so I can see what's going on behind it. If I double click on the video, it's gonna bring the transform tool and I can just move to the edges to scale it down. Uh, if you put your mouse around its edges, it's gonna switch to a rotating tool and you can click this. I'll just rotate this. It looks like my blue bar was slightly bent. So I'll rotate this so that it aligns properly with the YouTube. Uh, border right there and this looks pretty good to me so next I'm just gonna position it and put it uh, to the side to cover the full screen so if I head over to the effect controls uh, under opacity there's this little pen tool this is the masking tool in Premiere Pro I'll click on that and then I'm gonna mask around all the borders where we didn't have the blue uh, board to take that out so I'm just gonna do a slightly I'll zoom in a little bit and then mask it properly and do a slightly straight mask I'm gonna turn my opacity back to 100% and we're looking pretty good, we are almost done. Next, I'm just gonna to go to the timeline just about this point where I hit the subscribe button. I'll click on the razor tool or press C on the keyboard to activate the razor tool and just click 
on that uh, subscribe uh, background image to cut it out. And then I'm gonna click on it and delete it. So next I'm gonna go to my project board and drag in the second image we did where we already subscribed and just drop that right there. Now, because we scaled the original image, uh, it's not gonna align properly. So if you click on the image, go to motion and do control C or command C to copy it. Uh, we can copy all the scaling properties that we just added to it and click on the second image and go to motion and press control or command V to paste all of that. And as you can see, they are now properly aligned. And if you're having issues with the alignment, just make sure that the anchor points are also exactly the same on the two images. And if I play that back, uh, once I click on that, it changes to a subscribe button and we're done. That is quite easy to do. All right, now we're gonna go to editing the same thing using a mobile device. Now this is gonna be way, way easier than doing it on Premiere Pro because of two main reasons. Um, I'm assuming you're doing this on a mobile phone because you probably don't maybe have a computer. So I've gone ahead and designed for you the YouTube frame that is already scaled. You can download that in the description of this video so you don't have to do any scaling. And then also remember I told you that if you're filming for mobile, it'll be much easier if you film with a straight uh, green screen material. So these two things is gonna make this super easy. Uh, for the editing app, we're gonna be using an app called Video Leap. Um, it's already there on iOS. For Android, you need to pre-register, but I guess very soon uh, you wouldn't need to do that to get the app. But this is one of the best apps I've seen for editing VFX on the mobile device. So let's get straight to it. All right, I have the app fired up. So what you wanna do is click on the plus sign to start a new project, and that's gonna open your video library. I'm gonna click on that very first YouTube frame, the one that says subscribe. I'll add it to the project and you can scroll through your timeline to see everything. And then there's a little sign right here that says mixer. I'm gonna click on that and on the mixer, I'm gonna add my green screen footage, the footage that has a green screen. So when you tap on it and scroll, you're gonna see a button that says chroma key. So click on that and then just use your hand to drag to select the green. If you go ahead and tap on the YouTube frame, you'll see a little black arrow. If you click on this and drag, this should allow you to extend it on the timeline. And I'm just gonna extend it a little bit more so it shows a bit more on the timeline. Next, I'm gonna scroll through the timeline to about the point where I'm tapping on the button. And then I'll tap on my video at the top. And then I should be able to tap and hold to drag it to align it properly. And if you tap with your two fingers, you can use that to scale it to make it slightly bigger. So I'll just make it align to look like I'm actually tapping the button and then move this uh, to scale properly. And that looks about good to me. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still tap on the green screen footage. And if you scroll on the bottom, there's an option right there that says mask. So I'm gonna tap on the masking option. And then I am gonna use uh, the option that says rectangular mask. So I'm gonna click on that. And then if you look, there's a little uh, act thing on the corner. This helps you round the mask. So if you pull it back, it rounds it. If you pull it forward, it removes the rounded corners. We don't want rounded corners. So I'm gonna also click and then expand the mask. If you use your two hands, you can use your two thumbs, sorry, to scale the mask. And then I'm just gonna use my uh, thumb finger to just align this so that it fits properly. And that looks pretty good. So at about the point where I do the tapping, I'm just going to scroll to that point and again I'm going to tap on my YouTube frame and reduce the, the length to end right there and then I'm going to tap on the little red button right there and then I'm going to tap on that second frame that we created for this and now if I play this back if I hit and smash that subscribe button you can see it's subscribed that was simple simple and very easy to do the second example is a little bit more advanced but just like the first one, you need your YouTube frame. I have two here. So the first one is a close up and then the next one is uh, scrolled a little bit higher for when, when I'm hanging on the, the bar. So I'll drag in my clip. So I recorded myself on a green screen, just jumping over the green clot. So right here about the point where I jump, I'm going to cut it out by again using the scissors, to, the razor tool and I'm delete that part out. And then I'm going to use my chroma key tool, which is the ultra key in Premiere Pro. I'll put that and select using the eyedrop tool to select my green to key out all of the green. So next I'll just go ahead and scale and resize the video. And then I'll use my max tool to create a rough mask around the video so that it fits properly within the YouTube frame.
For the second shot, I simply filmed myself holding up to the top of my green screen. And again, I just used the chroma key tool in Premiere Pro to take out all the green and then scale, resize this and mask it to fit properly within the YouTube frame. And if you play it back, it looks something like this. And at the point where I tap the subscribe button, we're just gonna swap the image like we did in the first one. So it looks like the image change, it's that simple. To finish up the effect, I'll highlight all these three last items, move them a layer higher and put in a blank slate of my studio so that uh, we can see that it's an empty studio to sell that effect. And if you even wanna sell the effect even more, we can add a fake handheld camera motion. So click on the icon here, put adjustment layer, click and drag your adjustment layer to your timeline and adjust it to fit. And then you can go to your effects panel and add one of these uh, free fake handheld camera uh, motion to the adjustment layer. I'll put a link to this effect in the description you can download that to use and with that you are done just add in some nice sound design and you got yourself a really good cool uh subscribe to my channel video and for those of you editing on the mobile phone the principle is the same you can't do probably all of this but just use the same principle we used in the first video and you can get the same effect using your mobile device all right so that's all i had for you today that was a fun tutorial and i hope you could follow along with that and if i didn't use your particular editing software as long as it can do chroma keying you can follow these same steps to transfer that to it and you know what i'm gonna do if you have a particular software you used to edit and you're struggling with it i'm gonna leave a comment in this video the very first comment uh just let me know the name of that software and i'm gonna do a specific tutorial for you on how to edit uh using that software for only the first 10 people and i'm gonna be posting this on my instagram and also on my facebook throughout the week so look out for that uh you have to follow me on those platforms they're right here below the screen so i did promise you a giveaway right okay so let's get straight to the giveaway so check this out i have two create studio lifetime licenses to give out today i also have lifetime license a lifetime license to demo creator which is uh the screen recording and video editing software it's the one i use for all my tutorials it's really amazing and i really like it it makes my workflow easy i'm going to do a separate tutorial on this software at a later time uh, but i'm going to put a link to it you can check it out before then but i'm giving away lifetime licenses to this one lifetime license to the software and i'm also giving away two free cartoon illustration where you send me your picture and i send you back a nice illustrated cartoon that you can use for your profiles or whatever you want to do with them and it's very very easy to win any of these giveaways first of course you have to be subscribed to the channel i mean this whole video is about subscribing so make sure you're a subscriber to the channel the next thing you want to do is uh, you can either leave me a comment in this video uh, on the bottom of this video just let me know uh, what which one you want just just leave a comment just say something and let me know or tag me on instagram tag me on twitter or on my facebook page post a comment there i'm going to be choosing one winner from each of these platforms and i'm going to start announcing them beginning next week it's that simple to do just to say thank you to all of you for being part of this channel and being part of the growth of this channel so i hope that's going to help someone probably you're trying to start your channel maybe one of these will be helpful to you so and that is all i had for you today i'm going to catch you in the next video if you enjoyed that and you're not yet subscribed you already know what to do i don't have to show you subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one keep learning bye bye